I also strongly believe that the U.S. ratification of the Disability Treaty is in the best interests of the United States. The result of our ratification over time will be a benefit to all Americans with disabilities and their families, including veterans who work, study, travel, serve, retire, or live abroad. Ratification of the treaty will also enable the United States to provide leadership on disability issues, ensuring that international implementation hews closely to the balanced approach of American disability rights law. Our failure to ratify the Disability Convention, which so clearly follows the pattern of our own disability rights laws and programs, has hampered the position of the United States as a world leader on disability rights issues. Ratification will enable the United States to share our experiences with other ratifying nations as they shape emergency, emerging disability rights policies and laws in their own countries. Further, the U.S. will seek a place on the U.N. Disabilities Committee, which is only open to experts from ratifying countries, and give us the potential to play a valuable role in shaping the work of that committee. The Disabilities Convention has been ratified by 116 nations and the European Union. The time for Senate action to ratify the treaty uh, is now. When he signed the ADA on July 26, 1990, President George uh, Bush said, let the shameful wall of exclusion finally come tumbling down. The words and concepts that he signed into law that day now form the basis of the Disabilities Treaty. It is time for the United States to reposition itself as a world leader to help bring down these walls of exclusion for all nations around the globe and help make the world an accessible place for Americans with disabilities, including our veterans. I thank you for the opportunity to participate with you today.